Welcome back to the Collegiate Waterfowl Tour. We're here at Penn State. My name's Jack Schulenberger, and uh, we got a little cold front this morning and a, a spot that hopefully we're gonna hit them. So stay tuned. We uh, we scouted last two days like dogs, and uh, we found a pond hole yesterday with about 15 teal and another six wood duck. It looked like. So we're going to hit that this morning. And we had a couple other spots too that we've done well at or look like we're going to do well at. Like your crick spot. Or... Yeah, we uh, we found a couple spots, obviously on private, asked permission and with no luck. Uh, but uh, we got, we're going to go to the marsh in the morning and check it out and hopefully get some ducks coming in the evening. Uh, we're going to head out to a creek that has uh, wood ducks and mallards and uh, hopefully they all work in and get up before dark. So. Good morning, like 34 degrees. It's gonna warm up here, but uh, hopefully get some wind. This will uh, get them up in the morning at least if it's this cold, and but uh, get them before it gets too warm here in the afternoon. That's right. I got a stretch. That stream we drove by going through town. That was yeah. Bought them on eBay. They look real. Yeah. There's bullet holes in half of them. How much you buy them for? It was like ten dollars a band. Yeah, that makes sense. I got like a deal though. It was like buy one get one half off. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was pretty nice. <laughs> so yeah, this pond's pretty shallow, but in the back end where we're actually gonna be hunting, it's like a beaver dam kind of. So that's probably about over your head. The rest of the pond's about knee yeah. deep. So if you drop them right in front of us where we'd like to. You're gonna need a kayak for a dog, and I don't really want to swim today. So I guess that's why I brought the kayak and we have the young guys pulling it. Are we ready to rock and rumble? Yeah. Oh, it's like a killing machine with this hat on. Sean, you want to put those just two boxes in your bag? Yeah, I could do that. I have my. Let's go kill some ducks. Let's see the face paint. Let's see the face paint real quick. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They won't see me coming, dude. I'm like a ninja out here. No. What is it? It's a cheap pointer. Oh, really? It looks like a brother. I don't want to be little baby on a 20 gauge windmaster, so. Yeah, it's gonna rock a six-inch Jaeger ball. It's fine. I'm warm. I'm warm. Should be fine. It'll work. A lot of duck trails. I'm serious. Did you see them all going into the reed? I'm telling you, dude. Teal eat this spot. I, I believe it. It's gonna be shooting fast. Yeah. I'm gonna pull it back. I might regret shooting a full choke at about 8 o'clock. Yeah. The whole thing is really shallow. Yeah. Once you get in that back corner though, it gets deep. There's two, yeah, there. there's two pockets. There's one over here and one over there. We're going to be hunting the far left one because that's where the birds are. And I feel like every single time that's where they end up going. I don't know. Hopefully we get some blue wings. That'd be pretty cool. Have some troubles? Gotta love it. Oh, it's working out. It's Obviously. working. Just a little magic touch. Put the batteries in backwards. Early morning, not enough Red Bull. We got to the marsh, a <laughs> little walk around the middle. Uh, we had a guy that was going to also come in our spot, but we obviously were here first. Uh, thank the Lord, because we would have been in some backup options. <laughs> so we're out here on a, a little point of the island, and Sean and the boys scouted this yesterday, and there's some teal, some wood ducks, and but we might get some mallards pushing in. I mean, it's uh, second, second, or the second Saturday of the season, so people are definitely going to be out, maybe pushing some birds. And there's a push of birds around um, with the colder weather we got last week. So we're going to kind of run a string of guys here in these it's called little reeds. Um, we're going to have kind of two guys here, two guys in the middle, and a guy on the end. Our hope is they're just going to swing in. They've been loving these lily pads and all this tall grass, and they've been working in. And, 
when we walked in there's trails all through the algae and stuff like that so yeah i just set the decoys out we're running a really small spread today because there's not really a lot of birds in the area and they're super pressured so i think we only have seven eight decoys out uh of course my tealer at home not with me so we're only running mallards right now but hopefully it'll be enough to get a few birds in yep yeah shooting behind us <clears throat> just be ready he'll do that lower just shoot him I'm gonna call him as fast as I can but I don't know where she came from okay, shoot it. in the middle same square. about 10 yards to the right of the decoy Shoot it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Just went down. Uh, not going as good as we thought. We're going to see a couple ducks here and there. Um, I think we got right now a couple teal and a couple wood ducks. Um, we're trying to find ones that we sh shot over there, but yeah, it can only go up from here, honestly. Right, right behind you. All you right, so butt, butt your kayak. looking for the birds now. Got a couple in the water. Sean's in there now. It's picking them up. Take a little intermission here. Clean up everything. Clean the shells up. Oh, Take a little break and uh, head out back in the afternoon. See if we can do any better. <sighs> so we were walking back. Picked up. Guy started yelling. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Started going after him. He's wounded though, so had to run after him. Gassed. Grabbed him, but good thing we found him. Another one in the bag there for the boys. So we're just wrapping up our morning hunt now. Uh, saw a lot of birds, a lot of wood ducks, teal, a couple mallards. Uh, just right church, wrong pew. We're about 70 yards down from where we were. I think we just shot quite a few birds. But um, it was still a good hunt. Still killed a few birds. Great time with the guys, always. But uh, that's the end of the hunt in the morning. Hopefully we're gonna go in the afternoon, kill some birds. Putting the wading belt on. Getting ready. Feeling pretty good about this spot. Might be a turnaround here. Well, we scouted this yesterday. There's a, a little pond slash uh, reserve uh, refuge area um, up the creek slash spring. Uh, my brother used to hunt this, and uh, this is what we got for the evening. We're going to sit it, and maybe a couple woodies come in. Uh, maybe some of the birds will lift up for uh, evening and just fly up and down the creek. So uh, we're going to walk up a couple hundred yards. We'll be there in like 10 minutes. Uh, there's about three fingers of water that come together. It's pretty. Uh, so we'll be there until, until sunset and hopefully see a duck. But if not, just enjoy the views and, and hang out and 
and uh, try to shoot a duck, but that's the plan. Where does he want us to set up? What am I thinking? I'm thinking that I was told it was a five minute walk. But uh, no, this looks like a nice spot. Lots of trees, lots of cover, lots of little sloughs for the birds to sit in. Um, hopefully we just get some birds bouncing back, uh, going to the roost or just bouncing around the stream. Uh, there's a lot of ducks in the area from the drive in, so hopefully we get some action. Is that what that is over there? Oh yeah, we can all rock and shop and stuff. I mean, I think it can. Shoot them, shoot them. Oh, oh. Oh. They're so ugly. What is it? Common murk. Common murk. The best duck in the world. Absolutely beautiful. Well, we had some mallard decoys set up over here. Saw them swimming from 200 yards ish back. Flew in, had a big group, shot a couple. All of a sudden, we see a couple more flying through in the air. Got two or three there, so pretty good little fly in there. So we're wrapping up the evening hunt. Didn't see nearly as many birds as the morning hunt, but we still end up uh, getting two mergs. So uh, not the best night, but better than coming home empty-handed. I'd like to do a shout out to Kent Cartridge and Spawn Dew. I appreciate them as well. And uh, thank you for tuning in the Collegiate Waterfowl Tour. Make sure you keep posted, and uh, this wraps up Penn State. Penn State, State College, like, comment, subscribe. Shout out DTS, shout out Treehouse, Chemist Waterfowl, had a great time.